apologize for not uploading as much as I would like to. Uh, been doing a lot of things and I promise I will keep you guys updated on all the exciting stuff that's happening. Um, right now, we are going to be working on this beautiful 1975 uh, Yurako. It is a Lamborghini. Uh, it went through a very intense uh, restoration process. The owner has been waiting more than, I believe, four years uh, to get it done. And actually, when he first got it done, um, he brought it over to my shop to show it to me because, you know, he's been telling me how excited he is. And it is just nothing short of amazing. It is like you are literally going back to 1975. And it's, it's, a, it's like a time machine. It is just an absolutely gorgeous car. Before we jump into the detailing process, um, I ordered some new goodies from Detail Image, and my box came earlier this morning, so I didn't open it yet. I figured, who doesn't like a good unboxing video, especially with new detailing goodies? So I figured I'll share the fun and the excitement with you guys. What I ordered was some uh, towels from Detail Image. They're from the rag company. I ordered some uh, 300 GSM towels. Now, a lot of people think Know, lower GSM towels, they're essentially junk, but actually these are, in my opinion, and uh, uh, from my point of view, is these actually remove polish, waxes, sealants, a lot more effective than the fiber pile towels do, and uh, we're going to be coating this, so uh, uh, what's nice about these is after I'm done using them, I won't feel bad throwing them away, obviously because they're on the cheaper side of the spectrum, but still a quality towel. And uh, this is my preferred GSM around 300 to 350 to remove waxes, sealants, and polish. So I ordered about 40 of those guys. And then I also got, these are one of my favorite towels actually, um, are the Creature Edgeless towels. Uh, they have a higher GSM on one side and a short nap on the other side. So this is an, another amazing towel that I'm a big fan of. This works great with detail sprays, waxes, sealants, all that good stuff. So I ordered, uh, I ordered about 25 or 30 of those. Uh, same towel again. I stocked up on those. Um, got some Car Pro Pearl. Overall, it's a good product. I like that you could dilute it to your specific needs, especially if you want to use it on the interior. But very good product. Um, I also picked up some HD polish from 3D. Detailed Image had a sale going on, and uh, like I said, I, I picked up a bottle and I'm a fan of HD polish, so why not? Also picked up some masking tape. Saves us from going to the store. Picked up a few rolls of those. And a bottle of solution finish. So this is really good stuff. I actually just did a sprinter van that had faded trim. And uh, it came out really, really nice, so uh, it's always good to have solution finish in your arsenal. Ordered some Crystal Serum Light. This is what we're going to be using to coat the Lamborghini. We are also going to be doing a Porsche that is currently out of the frame. But after we get this one done, we're going to jump onto the Porsche. Now the Porsche needs a more intense uh, paint correction process, as this is obviously just going to be painted, so it doesn't need a ton of correction. We're actually just going to drill the paint and apply the coating. I also am a fan of these 3.5 gallon buckets. These are nice when you're doing rinseless washes. Um, makes life easy. Uh, you don't need to be hauling around a 5 gallon bucket, especially if you don't put 5 gallons of water. You only fill them up about 3 gallons anyway. So this is just nicer, easier to uh, haul around if you're doing the, a fast walk rinseless wash. We also uh, got some new wheel woolies. The other one's got pretty uh, ratty, so uh, had to uh, get some new ones. Also, these are the Creature Edgeless, again, just in a different color. You know, that way I can, uh, I can identify them and use them for different purposes. So, I think I ordered 30 of these. So, again, I'm a big fan of, of these towels. Very, very nice towels. Uh, they're versatile, being that they have the longer nap on one side and the shorter nap on the other side. So uh, these towels, big, big fan of. So, and don't worry that I'm putting this stuff on the floor. This floor is, is, is spotless. You're probably going to get comments. And uh, these are more of the 300 GSM towels. I think I ordered, I don't know, 40 or 50. So again, you always need lower GSM towels in your arsenal. 
So that wraps it up. That's everything that we got. Um, I figured I'd share that with you guys. Who doesn't like a unboxing video, especially the detailing video? So again, we got all these towels, um, new towels, fresh towels, and uh, I'll post links in the description below of everything that I'm using. If you guys are interested in checking out uh, some of the towels. So let's go over the Lamborghini and go over exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, here is the Lamborghini. It's a beautiful car. Inside is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that. Love the seats. <laughs> what a gorgeous car. So uh, what we're going to be doing to this car is we're going to be going over it with uh, either HD polish or Minzerna 3800, which is a fine jeweling polish. I'm going to see what results I'm um, liking better because there's very, very light faint swirls. That guy... We're going to be going all out. We're going to try to get it as best as we can. Uh, probably a multi-stage. I know, I'm not sure if all of it is single stage or not, but hey, we're going to find out. So back to this guy. I mean, look at those wheels and tires. <laughs> this car is, is something else. We're going to be giving it a very light polish. Uh, we're just going to try maybe to remove anything, uh, anything that's old on the car, any old wax or anything, and just uh, bring out the gloss as much as we can before we coat it. Now we are going to be using Crystal Serum Light from G Technique. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of this coating. Um, jump into it. Let's, uh, I'm going to give her a waterless wash, and then we're going to do a few test spots with the 3800 and the HD polish and see which one works better. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to give it a fast waterless wash. We're using a Wolfgang Uber Rinseless at Detail Spray Waterless Wash Ratio. Um, I have a video that I will post in the link below on how to mix it up if you guys are interested in it. So, this stuff makes a fantastic economical detail spray that is really, really hard to beat, especially at a professional level. And it's not just because it's cheap. The performance is just absolutely phenomenal. Very good. So I'm going to go around the whole car, give it a, a fast dust off. I'm using the Creature Edgeless. A nice towel. I'm glad I got some more of them. Make sure we get the bottom. And again, the car's not dirty. You can see we're not picking up any dirt at all. So that makes our job easier. I'm going to go around the whole car. I should be done in no time and I'm going to bring you guys right back once we start doing our test spot. I'm using the Flex 3401, a polishing pad, an HD polish. Now the reason I didn't go with 3800 is because obviously it has less cut. So even though we're doing fast polishing, uh, whatever polishing we're doing, we want to try to remove as much defects as possible. Um, so we are going to go with the HD polish because it does offer more cut than 3800. I'm using a 3401, um, just basically no specific reason, just because it's a 5 inch. I have my 21 millimeter, but obviously it's a 6 inch pad, and there's a lot of, uh, there's some big open spaces here that I can use it on, but on the tighter uh, body lines, um, the panels are a lot much smaller to work with, so I want to have a, a smaller, more concentrated area to polish the paint. So that's why I went with the 3401. Using fast to medium arm speed, I'm working larger areas. Again, the goal isn't to remove really a ton of defects because the paint really isn't that bad, but uh, we're just gonna uh, shine it up, gloss it up, and uh, bring out as much gloss as possible. <laughs> between it being your passion and hobby and running a business. Uh, it, it can't be both. So yeah, we're passionate about it and, 
and you naturally want to do your best, but you have to draw a line in the sand when, when it's when comparing your passion to profits. So, uh, if uh, you want to stay in business, you have to profit. Profit comes first. So, uh, yeah, it, it's coming out good. Uh, I'm going to be working larger sections. We're going to be done with the polishing in in no time. So probably in an hour and then we're going to start the coding process. So I'm going to get this done and once we start the coding process, I'll bring you guys back. What's going on guys? We're back. It is now day two. Um, we finished the polishing yesterday with HD polish, the Flex 3401 and a white Lake Country Force polishing pad. We're going to be coating it with Crystal Serum Light. I'm a big fan of this coating. Really, really good performance, really, really easy to apply. Um, it's not intimidating, uh, it's user friendly, not only for beginners, but even for professionals. Really a dream to work with. So we got our little applicator pad, gonna apply some product. And I like working with this product because it's really, really easy to use. And it really gives good performance. We're just gonna work our small section work it in because it's a new pad we're gonna put a little more drops a little bit of this product goes a long way I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this applicator um, I've used it it hasn't given me any issues I do like the, the comfort of it Okay, part this is pretty much a wipe on, wipe off coating. Um, right now it's about 75 degrees here in the shop. I'm using a Car Pro suede towel. Then I use a secondary towel with, uh, this is a 300 GSM towel, the one I showed you guys earlier. And I'm gonna use that for the final buff. And you can see this is giving me no issues. Now you might be asking why I don't have tons of light. Now I have many LED lights, but all I have is my main source of light which is my LED right there. And that's gonna highlight any high streaks or high spots. Because when you're flooded out with light, the light is competing and that can hide things. Then when you take it out in the sun, you might find high spots. So I find that having a main source of light is not only the best for seeing defects, it's also really good for, uh, for coatings as well. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna take my secondary buff off towel and lightly wipe and once you start wiping you're gonna feel how uh, slick the paint feels because of the coating so now that we've done that I'm also gonna take my inspection light and look for uh, any high spots streaks smears anything that I might have missed so that looks good and just like that it's coated so it will be coated in about an hour hour and ten minutes. Um, I'm gonna have to get underneath uh, the rear bumper because it's painted so we're obviously we're gonna have to coat that. We're gonna breeze through this in no time. Um, pretty much the whole car is done. I just have to do uh, this side of the hood. The reason why I like Crystal Serum Light so much is a little goes a long way. I'm gonna add a few drops and you can work larger sections compared to other coatings and the reason why you could work larger sections, like if I was using a coating that's kind of hard to install, I wouldn't be doing this whole entire, uh, well, this side of the panel. I would kind of split it into two. But being that this stuff is so easy to work with, we're going to have no issues with that. Um, obviously, you want to test how the coating is responding before you work larger sections. Um, humidity and temperature plays a factor in how, uh, how fast the coating cures. So I know that as of right now, I could get away with working larger working sessions, sections. And what that means is we're going to be able to coat the car faster. Um, so that means the client is going to be able to get their car coated faster. I'm going to be able to charge less while still profiting the same way. And we're going to get a great result. So like I said, this stuff is very, very easy to work with. 
It's one of my favorite coatings. Okay, so as of right now, I kind of ditched the Car Pro suede towel. I'm just using the 300 GSM uh, Rag Company all purpose towels. I'm using two of them. And I'm kind of just fanning it right now. It's kind of flashing. And once it flashes, I mean, this stuff is like wiping off the sealant. It's really, really easy to use. And the performance is great. It's not, I just don't like it because it's easy to use. That's one of the reasons why I like it so much. But it also performs really, really well. And you can see, look at that. Other coatings, I would not dare to attempt to work this large of a, a work area because I would have high spots of streaks, smears, and all that good stuff that you encounter when installing the coating. So, just like that. Now imagine, instead of working in small sections, you're working larger work areas, you get the car done in no time. So I'm going to go back to my second uh, buff towel, just to ensure that we remove any excess high spots. You always want to have a flashlight to inspect the working area. That way you don't get any surprises when you pull it out in the sun. High spots happen. Um, it's very, very common because obviously LED lighting is artificial and you're bringing it out in the sun. You'll find a high spot here and there, but it, it's not a big deal. The only thing is just to uh, plan ahead that you have enough time so you, when you pull it out in the sun, you could inspect it and then your customer comes and picks it up. You never want to be under the gun while doing a coating job. That just leads to... Uh, that just leads to a complete mess. When you're rushing installing the coating and then rushing uh, to, get the uh, to get the customer their car, that's just not a good recipe. So you always want to have time and communicate to your customer, telling them that, hey, I need time. If you want a good job, I like taking my time. And they'll respect that. So again, we're all good. Streak free. Okay, we uh, did the rear with CarPro Pearl. Obviously, you could see how the right uh, doesn't necessarily look shiny, but it looks more conditioned. Uh, it looks a lot deeper in a, in a black color, and this side kind of looks thirsty and dry. The CarPro Pearl in the spray bottle. I just have this little applicator pad. I'm not spraying it on the panel, obviously, because we don't want to get it on our paint. And I'm just kind of massaging it, massaging it into the into this bumper. You don't want to get it on the paint. What's cool about Car Pro Pearl is you're able to adjust the shine. Uh, some customers, they love a high shine. Um, just because us, most, mostly detailers like a satin, semi-gloss. But just because we like that, that doesn't mean your customer does. So it's nice to have a product that you could dilute you know, to a specific need or specific uh, situation. You know, even if a customer does desire a shinier tire, you could just use it straight. And what's also neat is, you know, for the uses like I'm doing right now, you could use it on the interior, the exterior, plastics, and it's good to have in your arsenal. Take an all-purpose towel that we don't care about. We're going to buff off. and you can see how how much better it looks so that looks good it's gonna make our job look better now all we gotta do is the glass okay it is all done i am very impressed that is the exact look that i was looking for it is just a satin shine that is nice i must be going crazy now I'm more excited about the tire dressing than i am <laughs> the looks of the car but Back to the car, tire dressing did a great job. It came out. Car already looked good. We brought it to a higher level. Love the color. I had a lot of fun working on this car. This side of the tire dressing didn't settle because I applied the other side first. So it does look a little bit glossier right now but it will settle down and that looks fantastic I'm very happy with the results I know my client is gonna love it this car is just ridiculous hopefully he takes me for a ride in it <laughs> so it turned out good 
so uh, I think I'm gonna attempt to wash this I'm not sure yet it is pretty hot outside I may I might wait 30 minutes just so it could cool down um, if not we could always tackle it early in the morning so always a little cooler then but uh, we are gonna be working on this next um, I think we're gonna go with uh, fast correcting cream uh, car pro essence and then we're gonna be coating it again with crystal serum light so this car needs a lot more love that's why it requires a multi-stage uh, polishing process so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I will post links in the description below for everything that I use you can get it on a detailed image um, they are affiliate links so if you do buy from detailed image I would appreciate if you support me and support the channel I do get a credit from detailed image that way I can get some more detailing stuff so uh, I would appreciate it I will post links in the description below and I hope you guys enjoyed the video like always if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below email me anytime nextleveldetailer at gmail.com so yeah we're all wrapped up so time to time to tackle this baby so okay guys I will see you in the next one